Hey YouTube, I just wanted to make a quick video doing a earthquake retrofit here. Just doing the first portion of it in which we install these um, shear transfer ties. As you can see, uh, you got, you got uh, five nails up here and you have five down there. And uh, so for this, the tool that you really need is this, uh, give me two seconds. Um, so the particular um, uh, shear transfer ties that you see here are called L90s, uh, L90s, and they're about nine inches long. They also make L70s and I think like A35, much smaller. This one has a lot more steel, um, although um, I've seen some videos that people say that the only difference is they, these use more nails than those. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to go do a quick a tutorial on how to install these things. Pretty simple and straightforward, but you know, somebody who's uh, planning to do their own retrofit, uh, sometimes there's certain um, certain things that, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, visually seeing them could, could just give you that extra confidence to say, yeah, this is something I can do. So we're down here in the crawl space. I've been sitting on my butt uh, for uh, probably about two hours right now doing the rest of these uh, shear transfer ties. But uh, you're gonna need to get this tool. I really recommend getting this um, Porter Cable Mini, um, uh, mini uh, oh, oh, Palm Nailer. There you go, yeah, it's in my palm, it's a nailer. Palm Nailer. The way it works is you take a nail, that you see I got a box of uh, Tendi nail here. These, these are three inch nails because I have a double plate here, so I kinda want it to go through both. But really, I think if you have a single plate, which is just this top one, you can go you can pull off a one and a half inch i think that's the one recommended by the manufacturer but these are these are the same ones these are 10d the whole thing but they're just a little longer because i wanted to go through both top and the bottom plate um in case of any shifting so anyways palm nailer the way it works you, you stick that right right in there and you want to be careful if you push this here's the thing if you're working with anyone around you do not point this at anyone this is like a freaking gun i mean you push this down and I don't even want to do it, but for demonstration purposes, and there you go, see that? Like it'll, there's a little hammer in there, kind of hurts actually. There's a little hammer in there right there, that little thing you see, that's what drives this thing. So when you, when you pop this down and something touches that hammer, it pops right out. So if you're working around anyone or even yourself, don't point this at yourself, kind of like I'm doing for this witty video, which is just an example of how to not be stupid, but you want to push this away because I've done this. I can tell you how many times I've just been, oh, just casually putting in there and you put, apply a little bit too much pressure and it pops out. So it's like a gun. So you got to be really careful. So point this away from anyone or anything. And then what you want to do is you want to get right up in there. And, and this is a three inch. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, you have to be a little bit more careful. Sorry. Ooh. You have to be a little bit more careful because if you hit the sideways, you run the risk of bending it. Although these are pretty solid, I don't think they're gonna bend. It's just if you go in solid, uh, sideways and you can, I don't even know if you can hear me with the rear compressor on, but if you go in sideways, you can really, um, you, run the, you run the risk of doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So you're just gonna, we're up here with a palm nailer. We're going straight down. So that's what it is. You've been doing five on the bottom, five on top, 10 D nails, and uh, that's how that works. You got one here, same thing, 10 D down there, and uh, uh, basically five on the bottom, five on the top. I just want to make a little visual uh, for you guys. Um, uh, if you're doing this and you visually, so this particular area that I'm working in is kind of cool because you can get up there, you can really kind of see the, the nails, but a lot of the, some of these areas that I've worked in, and you can't really even get down there and see this nail, so you basically are blindingly finding these holes, and so it helps to have one just handy. Uh, let me just take one off here. Just happen, helps to have... Just to have one visually sitting in front of you. Because then you can just kind of 
look at where the hit nail would be and then you could place it and kind of find that hole and, and drill it down but anyways this is basically the process i'll do one more just for demonstration that was the bottom one and so oh gosh hold on, I'm bucket that. so for the back we're gonna obviously post this in the, in the back and use a one uh one and a half inch and that's gonna go like like that if you can see it's gonna go straight into the back boom and and that's a pretty it's an easier process but this particular one was difficult to do okay so here we go pretty much simple as that i mean as soon as you press down on the thing it's gonna it's gonna really um start, start bumping and, and, and driving that thing in so yeah um best of luck to anyone i'll try to make more of these if you like this video please do like it i mean i haven't really made any youtube videos i just this is my first one i just want to kind of share that with you guys just to help anyone who's who's attempting this brave endeavor brave but uh absolutely necessary and crucial endeavor and so if you are um just gonna sit that right up there like that boom and then you'll get the sh sheer wall here we'll have to remove these and then you'll get your um, side plates in here that'll that'll hopefully oh that's not a good sign um so you'll get your um, side wall in there and i'll try to share more but uh if you guys like it please like it you know hopefully it'll rank it up and, and anyone who's attempting this can kind of get a good idea of how to do these things uh it's just it's just a bravery thing i think when you see people do it, there's a lot of helpful content out there so anyone who sees this um uh we'll hopefully just get the visual say hey you know that's simple enough i can i can i can pull that off so yeah 10 the the nail that you'll need and i think you can find these on home depot website when you actually try to purchase the the uh the sheer transfer ties themselves is uh 10 d3 these are three inches but really the ones you want are the the one and a half inch here they are 10 d one and a half inch smooth shank whatever oh hot dip galvanized yeah because you know obviously this is this is technically considered outdoors even though it's underneath your uh, crawl space it's, it's outdoors and not inside your house so um you don't want over time corrosion you know you can do this in let's say 10 years um 15 years ago by hopefully longer 20 years 30 50 100 years ago by but anyways within your lifetime you don't want these to to mess up or no other person other than corrosion so just make sure that you get the hot dip galvanized not even the zinc i think i think hot dip is the best uh, all right well thank you much appreciate you watching my my video sorry it wasn't the best i'm just kind of down here got inspiration said hey why not just kind of do a quick video because there's a lot of other videos and other how to's but um uh, but just to get, actually be down here and uh um to do this uh, hopefully it's helpful thank you much bye bye